you got a used iPhone and found that it's still linked to the previous owner's Apple ID, and you can't remove the Apple ID because you don't have the password? This video will show you how to remove the previous owner's Apple ID without a password. Method 1. Remove the previous owner's Apple ID via factory reset. If your iPhone hasn't been reset, a factory reset may help get rid of the previous owner's Apple ID. First, connect your iPhone to your computer via a USB cable. Then put it into recovery mode. To do this, first press and release the volume up button, then press and release the volume down button, and finally press and hold the side button until the recovery mode appears. Open iTunes on your computer. Choose Restore. Click Restore and Update. Confirm that you want to continue. Then wait for iTunes to restore your iPhone to factory settings. The restore is successful. Pick up your iPhone and set it up again. When you are asked for the previous owner's Apple ID, tap unlock with passcode. Tap use device passcode. Then enter the passcode that was previously used to unlock the iPhone. The previous owner's Apple ID has been removed, and you can access your iPhone. Method 2. Remove the previous owner's Apple ID with the iSumsoft iLock Refixer. If your iPhone has been reset and you're stuck at the activation lock screen without the previous owner's Apple ID password, iSumsoft iLock Refixer is the best solution. It helps you remove the activation lock without the previous owner's Apple ID. First, connect your iPhone to your computer via a USB cable. Go to iSumsoft.com. Locate the iLock Refixer tool. This is a specialized Apple activation lock removal tool that allows you to bypass or remove Apple ID and activation lock without login credentials. Download this tool and install it on your computer. Also, make sure iTunes is installed on your computer, but you don't have to use iTunes. Now launch the iSumsoft iLock Refixer. Select Bypass ID. Click Start to proceed. Follow the on-screen instructions to boot your iPhone into DFU mode. Once done, the software will automatically jailbreak your iPhone. Wait a few minutes for the jailbreak to complete.
Follow the prompts to put your iPhone into DFU mode again. Then the software will jailbreak your iPhone again. Once the jailbreak is complete, the software will start removing the activation lock from your iPhone. The activation lock was removed successfully. Now you can set up and use your iPhone without having to sign in to an Apple ID. That's it. I hope this video was helpful. See you in the next video.